Hello, my ladies and pretty gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Look What's Happening in the Spirit Realm with yours truly, Light. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I have a message for someone who's been going through a very deep understanding of self. Someone who's been, perhaps for the first time, relaxing into being themselves getting to know themselves, feeling comfortable and confident in the fact that they can fall back on themselves. This person right here is undergoing a transition. And I want to say something very specific here. There are people that don't yet have a ticket in this specific person's life that we're going to be talking about today. They are early comers or early arrivers and this is a very specific message because these people may eventually have a ticket right in these people's lives but at present this person is in a very very incredibly important phase in their life where spirit put it as the cement hasn't yet set so there's like a base level of like certainty and self-reliance self-acknowledgement self-healing so much of this base information base security that you need to have in yourself this person is building and they've been going very steadily sometimes feeling impatient sometimes having you know bursts of growth <clears throat> but if this is you you are needing to truly focus on yourself at this moment because there are going to be situations where you're going to exercise restraint because it's somewhat of a halfway test. These people that would come into your life, they're not toxic at all. They're just early arrivers. And some of them could even be for your past, from your past for some of you. But there's a lot of new people as well. When I say people, these are like encounters that you're going to have for a prolonged period of time. Something that's going to be very impactful. Almost like the first ground floor right after the base has been built. But right now, the cement has literally been laid down and it has not set yet. So if you invite people, there will be footprints. These people would have an impact that sh they shouldn't have. They will reach to the softness of the depths of you that is just beginning to be reformed and reconstructed without any negative or positive influence from outside. There is this sense of being very secure and protected by the presence of yourself that you're having right now. And you're needing to like harness that. You're needing to let that really ignite into a big bright flame because nothing would impact it nothing is going to phase it coming in or out so there is something very interesting happening for you if this is you there is like a sudden heartbreak or a sudden feeling of loss and sadness or a deep sense of feeling kind of distraught that may come up all of a sudden now we would easily say that is you, like you going through certain traumas, you clearing all of that. But this person I'm talking about today, you've built a lot of like the base of who you are back up. And everything is is truly like at your hands in, in terms of yourself and your you being able to access different parts of yourself, getting to know your all of this stuff. But at the same time, when you're going through that, you are letting go, you are releasing, you are forgiving people in your past because you're forgiving yourself. So what happens is the energy, like a rubber band, goes right back to them. Literally, especially if these people have maybe crossed you in whatever fashion, it doesn't matter if it's big or small. They will feel a sense of being unsettled, a sense of needing to do something to correct the wrongs that they've done and for some of them it might even be mistakenly interpreted as them wanting to be in your life long term 
as opposed to just feeling a sense of wanting to to give you some closure so this is why i'm talking to this person today you're needing to really consider the fact that you're supposed to be very selfish right now with your time with where you especially find a sense of comfort even if it's difficult trying to as much as possible it's not hyper independence relying on yourself at this moment is going to be very very crucial for you specifically if you resonate with this message because you are about on the brink of opening a new door a new chapter where those people coming in won't be of a negative impact meaning a visible footprint on the cement that you just set you know what i mean they won't be like that they would be people you could have a sense of understanding and knowing within yourself that if they're not right for you you will uphold your boundaries because the base of who you are has really you've gotten to know yourself you know there's a lot of friction there there's a lot of ups and downs that you've dealt that you're not willing to sacrifice the growth that you have endured for a fake love for a, a counterfeit love that you don't really need because you're cultivating your own so these people have a ticket in your life mind you they might have a ticket in your life but it's further up in the future and right now they're feeling antsy because the rubber band effect you've let go you've forgiven and they feel a sense of needing to grab a hold of you because you are a free bird you're almost energetically letting them go setting them free which allows them to look at their shadow so they can set themselves free you become a domino effect in their lives not just their lives but the people around them so you're not just doing yourself a favor by being selfish but you're going to be doing them a favor too because when they enter your life at the exact time no early comers at the divine time they s- they are supposed to they're going to be whether it's a short term long term situation they're going to be a positive influence on your life so with that being said i actually want to go into something something specific here it's not to fear monger but it's regarding a, a sense of relapse right if these early comers come into your life you would be giving them uh, a way out a way out of their own shadow and a relapse would happen because it is universal it is natural for it to happen because you have entered the same cycle that you have tried to work yourself out of and this is why it's important the timing is essential so for some of you people that you might want in your life are going to come in and you're going to send them away because you're going to realize in your spirit something is not going to feel settled something will feel unfinished or rushed and if you feel that let them go because you're being tested in terms of your sense of fear of losing people this has been the thing that has haunted this person i'm talking about today is the fear of losing people the fear of rocking the boat the fear of not having a second chance all of these things people have trampled on you have not considered the fact that you matter and that your chances are also valuable because you have made your chances invaluable you have made them ubiquitous you've made your chances worthless in a sense because you have a fear that these people are important somehow they make an impact a footprint in your life and if they're not there you're going to be unstable you're going to be rocked your foundation is going to be shook so this is exactly why restraint is going to be important and they might not understand it they might feel a sense of completely having lost you and for them that's going to be a new cycle because they're going to you're going to help them complete their old cycle you're going to help them complete their old cycle so this is a very specific message for somebody who is going through a breaking point a breaking point and who might be even needing a lot of rest and rejuvenation a lot of taking care of yourself having sensual dates with yourself being more intimate with yourself having 
having uh, i don't know baths whatever that it is you do to feel intimate with yourself walks romanticism towards yourself i feel like this is what spirit is trying to deliver today with that being said i'm uh, yeah i'm gonna leave the message at this point and i hope everybody is doing well always remember i don't reach out to you for readings if you would like a private personal reading with me the email is in the description box mind you april is a very full month so please be gracious with me as i reply to you in a timely ish fashion because it's just me myself and i so be kind okay with love bye